two, one. Good afternoon or good evening, Robert. Hey, good afternoon. Good evening. What time is it now at your side? Uh, 1.04. A little bit late for a military guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> Four minutes late. Yeah. So you are, uh, could you give us some background, please? Yeah. Thank so um, basically um, started out the U.S. military, um, military intelligence in 1987. Uh, did about four years in the military. Uh, first Gulf War, got out, <clears throat> decided that the, that the uh, military was a great place to start, but not um, didn't. I would really didn't fulfill the entrepreneur uh, ship that I had at heart. So I got into uh, doing businesses and uh, eventually found my way to the Internet once the Internet was created. You know, because, you know, some of us existed before the Internet was created. Uh, okay. you know. <laughs> so um, we did that and then uh, got into uh, search engine optimization, been into search engine optimization and building a platform for helping marketers uh, uh, at Blackwood dot productions over the last 17 years. And so um, uh, and then for the last uh, two years, I've been dedicated in, into something new. Uh, called, uh, you know, hashtag domains or hashtag space, the decentralized internet that's uh, coming upon us rapidly now. Hashtag space. Yeah. Wow, that is that is quite some information you gave us. So good evening, good afternoon, good morning, everybody. Today we have a very, very special guest and really interesting one. So directly from Colombia, an ex-military, <laughs> ex-intelligence, U.S. Army guy. Mm -hmm. And in despite being military guy, he's into crypto and decentralization. So this will be something. Yep. And of course, we would like to thank thank you, Adam, for introducing us. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate this. Okay. So how did you get involved into crypto? Um, well, I have to say that I wasn't paying attention so much, um, but I did hear about you know Bitcoin and. A few things. It was just so back in the day, it was so hard to understand how uh, a cryptocurrency could actually be worth money. And, okay. uh, you know, so I didn't pay attention to it for, for a long time. And then I figured, well, Bitcoin was already out of the price range. So I really wasn't going to buy into it so much. But that wasn't a really smart idea. It wasn't a thought a good, sm good, a smart idea, you know, because cryptocurrencies are being adopted more and more now, which means more and more people are coming in probably less than 1% of the consciousness of the human population know about cryptocurrencies or even involved in cryptocurrencies. Absolutely. And so, and so one, once this thing becomes mainstream, you know, we're going to have a lot of adoption and then you're seeing a lot of price, you know, inflation that happen. And so the, the biggest transfer of wealth in human history is happening right now, right now. And not only was it happening 11 years ago when Bitcoin was seven cents, but it's happening right now because there's so many other coins that are even cheaper that have good protocols, that have good foundations like Bitcoin, like Ethereum. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay. Oh, that was that was like a series of punches. And still at the same time, there are lots and lots of tokens you can lose all your money in. That's right. And there is. <laughs> that is true. And coins we are not well. financial advisors. We are not financial advisors. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so uh, two th uh, you started in uh, 2018. Yes. In 2018, with the project hashtag dot space, correct. So you have hashtag dot space. Then yes. there is meta hash and meta gate. Yeah. Who was yep. who was first? Let, let me let me get into that a little bit. It's a it's a it's a Thank deeper you. story. So um, the meta hash project, meta hash dot org. Um, the only reason that hashtag space exists is because of meta hash dot org. Meta hash dot org is a blockchain, and I'm coining blockchain for the people because it's about getting rewarded for participate for participation. And so uh, getting involved in a blockchain now that has up to 50,000 TPS trans transactions per second. It is uh, block size, you know, three sec, you know, we're talking like super, super, super quick um, blockchain, you know, up there with, you know, you're talking about Bitcoin, seven transactions per second. Uh, Ethereum, 15 transactions per second, even Cardano, you know, you're not talking to like uh, blistering speed there. But what you're talking about here with MetaHash, a decentralized uh, platform 
with re rewards for staking on nodes. It's a proof of stake blockchain. You know, proof of work blockchains are like Bitcoin, where they take up a lot of electricity, a lot of uh, power to 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 read the to read the um, you know the, all, everything that's happening on the blockchain itself. So to come to consensus is very difficult. With proof of stake, it, it's less uh, less about the uh, power of the computer computers that are trans you know looking at the hash and everything about uh, what's happening. And so. It's kind of a complicated situation, but what I'm saying here, you can, you, uh, Robert, you can go as technical as you wish. Uh, so, a, a slight warning: this is not really for the beginners, and exactly. we'll be we'll be diving in. So, there will be two parts, more, more many two parts. So, the yeah. first part there will be me and Robert, and then yep. you can jump in with your questions and ask them directly to Robert. You can ask okay. him about the prices, you can about ask him about the future movements, about some, maybe some failures nobody knows about. Just yeah. bring them all up. This is one of the rare, rare, rare opportunities to ask. Yeah, to ask exactly. So th this is a Swiss company uh, registered in, in Switzerland. Oh, and, Swiss and company. Came out, came out at about three cents on an ICO. This is a three-year-old project. And so uh, <clears throat> went up to about 10 cents has been leveled off at about a half a penny for the last year or so uh, while the main net is being decentralized. And what I mean by that is there are several different nodes and servers that need to be implemented to have a decentralized internet, to have a decentralized web or a network, okay? And so this is the only um, blockchain that I know today that has a decentralized browser, a truly decentralized browser that's hooked to nodes that are operated by the people. And so let me just say this, if you're old enough to remember back in the day, there were, there were people going around asking uh, for investments into cell towers. I don't know if, if, if there's that many people here that old, but they were asking for investments into cell towers. And back in the day, you could have invested in a cell tower. That was before the cell phones were all big. Yes. You know what I mean? And then all these big corporations came in later and bought up all those cell networks. So what I want to say right now is, MetaHash is building the backbone of the new internet and that's communications. And so if you want to be a part of the new internet where you can get paid to be a part of the new internet, MetaHash is your project, okay? Because it's paid for participation. You download the, the MetaGate browser and you can uh, take, it's, a, it's a, also a wallet, a crypto wallet as well. So a lot of people out there, if they want to be able to get into cryptocurrency, they're not really sure about how to get into cryptocurrency. Uh, download the Metagate browser. The Metagate browser has an auto built in uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin and MetaHash wallet. We'll be adding more coins uh, as we see fit once the decentralization uh, fully takes uh, hold. That is uh, due to take place this Friday, actually. So after three okay. years working on our project and fulfilling the white paper, um, we'll be going live with the whole main net um, on this Friday and rewards will be paid out to core nodes. Core nodes are large, the last nodes that we're putting up to go to be fully decentralized. <clears throat> Just to get started, it takes 10 million MetaHash coin to stake down on a core node. Uh, that's about $50,000 at today's price. And so imagine in the future when when the, the price of an MHC is about 10 cents, what it would cost to open a core node server. So getting getting in at a low low level right now when uh, when the price is still low, even lower than the ICO. Uh, when the main net's getting ready to pop off uh, is a great opportunity to get in on a new coin, a new altcoin that's definitely going places to the moon. That's everybody saying in the MetaHash channel. So to the moon, when are we going? We're going there today. We're going there this week. We're starting here on this channel. <laughs> if you okay. Want. Okay. Let us, let us, let us see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh somebody's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you are in, you, you are in a very, very friendly place, Robert. Yeah. Yes, yep. Uh, yep. and and still at the same time, we've got few people. I remember once uh, we had this Latvian uh, Telegram group uh, devoted mostly for about, about talks for cryptocurrency. And once I said that we'll, we are having today a conversation about MetaHash, and the first guy was, he checked out your saw, he checked out the information, and he said, no, that's a scam. Why? Why is it? Oh, because they say that there are 50,000 transactions per second. That's it. Uh, I, I don't know. That, 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 was, that, that was that was the chain of his. It could be a shocker. It could be a shocker for some people that are used to low low network 
you know, speeds, but this is a, a Russian hot rod. I'm sorry. You know, so, we, we have how, our own how, way of doing things. So how does it work? How, okay. do, you, how do you manage to do that? Yes. Let, let, let me just go over. I, I did take Let's a few come. notes here this morning. And so I want to go over a few highlights uh, of the MetaHash network. So yes. first I'm going to go over some forging so, so, highlights. So, sorry, one, one second, please. Uh, you, yep. If you need to, if you need to, Robert, you can share your screen as well. Yep. I will. At this moment, I'll just be reading over a few of my notes, so I don't okay. need to at the moment, but I will take over shortly. No problems. So, Thank you. Okay. So the forging highlights, 50% uh, of the distribute will be distributed over the first 10 years. We're talking about 4.6 billion coins going to be able to be mined or forged over the next 10 years. So um, that's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, coin that's going to be given away to people. Like I said, if you want to be an investor in the new internet, it's going to be given away to you so that you can actually, uh, you know, be a part of the new internet. And when those things actually make money, uh, you know, it'll be gone. Give me, give me one second. I'll be right back. No problem. No problem. No, no problem at all. So, and for this while, for moments like these, we have our ads and welcome to host Maria and subscribe. We'll be back yeah. after that. That's a very nice commercial, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> very um, nicely done. In, in video.io. Yeah, Fantastic. very nice. <laughs> Fantastic very question. nice. So let me get back into this. So yes, awesome. thank you. Um, again, 50% uh, distributed over the, the, the 10 years of 4.6 billion coins. So getting in now, like getting in and making. Sorry, sorry 50%, 50% uh, will be distributed. Yep. And that will be 4.5 4 billion coins. About four point, yeah, four point six billion coins given out to people that are actually laying the network. What do I mean by laying the network? I mean people that are actually going out and making nodes. They're forging. They're they're renting a computer from a from a cloud somewhere. They're installing the MetaHash software. Okay. And they're making it a part of the network. So that, okay, that's, so 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 we are talking about actually VPSs, so virtual private servers or dedicated servers. These are dedicated really, servers. No. These are dedicated servers. These are servers from all kinds of different areas. So these are owned and operated by different people. That's why this is decentralized. It's not a centralized hub, like coming into one place and then going and getting, you know, getting all of your services. So all of the services that we'll be offering will be run across the decentralized node network, also okay. connected by the browser. So, okay, fantastic. Uh, how many uh, how many nodes do you have right now? Uh, at that at this moment, it's hard to say. I mean, in my opinion, because I don't I don't keep track of all the nodes. There are four different types. And there are so many nodes coming oh, online whoa. each day okay. and going offline. So, but, but let me go over this thing in a thing and of then course. I'll go back Sorry. and do some questions with you. So let, let me say one of the largest things that, 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 uh, that is overlooked on the MetaHash platform, in my opinion. In my opinion, just by holding MHC in your wallet, you earn up to 40% up to back on, on the coin. So for example, if you hold a thousand coins you know, uh, for a year, you're going to get back four up to 400 coins by the end of that year just by staking just by staking that coin what i mean by staking i mean that you're staking that down on a server taking that that mhc the coin out of circulation it's not being sold it's not being anything it's being taken off the market which makes the coin more rare okay. as you make the coin more rare the price goes up so you know that's what i'm trying to say so uh, th that is very huge let me just say there's a couple of other coins that do this out on the on the market today uh, one is called Adam uh, at Cosmos, and they pay almost 10%, which I thought was really amazing until I found the MetaHash project. I was like, wow, how can you guys give back so much? You know what I mean? It's because, uh, you know, when the Internet today, only a few people are making the money. You know, these big conglomerate, big companies. What's happening now is it's becoming decentralized. The decentralized web means that you are a part of it. You know what I mean? That you can take and participate and take stake, which means taking stake, which means getting paid from now until whenever. So let me keep going. This is uh, this is you letting, letting you invest in the new internet. Everybody, every node and wallet and server uh, that is a part of the ecosystem partake, uh, participate in all transactions. This is not normal for normal every other blockchain. 
So that means every wallet, when you open your browser, your wallet is open. It, uh, the system is using a part of your system resources for, for transacting, making transactions, for, for passing information, for connectivity, for whatever it's doing. It's using a part of your network. You can also turn that off if you don't wish to use uh, a part of your, your services on a computer uh, for, the, for the network, that's okay. Uh, but just by opening the browser and being having it open, uh, you're able to earn uh, MetaHash. And, and, and so that's amazing. So every node wallet, so again, uh, when every node and wallet, if you're running a node or you're running a server, you have a, a wallet open, you are a part of every transaction, which that's not normal on other blockchains. Like in Bitcoin, you know, some servers and stuff, these farmers, they are mining and they get the blockchain, they find the shared ledger, they get the ticket, they earn the Bitcoin, okay? That's how that works. Normally what, what's happening here is that we all participate in making the network run. And so we all get paid on every transaction. So when every, somebody's paying uh, for a transaction to go through, we all take and participate, which that money goes back into the ecosystem, okay? So companies that wanna use native MetaHash services and pay with MetaHash uh, can forge their coins and hold to earn and return large enough to cover usage fees. Let me, let me explain this. There's another blockchain called VeChain. I'm not sure if uh, a lot of our audience have heard of a blockchain called VeChain. But VeChain is a, is, a, is a logistics protocol that many of the large companies are using for supply chain logistics these days. Um, because in supply chain, there's a lot of things happening that you don't know where your product is, where it came from, what temperature it was being stored at. Or if somebody even took your, your, your information or your, your goods and replaced it with something that's a replica. And so uh, VeChain hooks to RFID tags and tracks um, goods by satellite. And so... Uh, just by staking and buying these companies that use the blockchain, uh, the way the VeChain works is when you buy VeChain and hold VeChain, it drips another coin called VThor. And the VThor is what the VeChain system uses as gasoline for fees to use the actual protocol to track products across the network. So uh, they give they give out about one less than 2% back on that. And this is going to be a very huge it, that thing's at five cents right now, six cents right now. And they're talking about it going to a dollar soon because of adoption. So, uh, you know, imagine MetaHash is at a half a penny right now. And, and we're talking about, so uh, they, they give about 2% back. Okay. So MetaHash, just by buying the coin and staking the coin, you earn up 30 to 40%. The, those, the MetaHash is what the, our system, our ecosystem runs on. So you can buy a hashtag domain name which I'll get into in here in a little bit about hashtag.space, a decentralized domain name platform. Uh, you, can buy a, uh, um, you, can, you can buy a hashtag domain name. You can buy uh, advertising on our search engine. You can buy um, uh, keywords that show up in our search engine. There, there are various uh, things you can do within our network that you can buy with MHC that have to do with on marketing and online marketing for your business. Okay. So, What's happening here is with what, when I came into the MetaHash project, they had already built the backbone and they had everything here laid out for us really nice. Uh, but there was no domain name system up front. You had all these large, uh, you know, hash addresses, which the centralized systems create that nobody can remember or, or try to type in to resolve to. So I spoke to the MetaHash team. We talked about creating the hashtag domain names and we did that. And so um, we're building also a search we have a search engine that's functioning at the moment, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, we're building paid ads. So everything, basically this is an ecosystem for uh, Web 2.0 refugees coming from uh, Facebook, from Google, from Twitter, from wherever that your censorship is happening, which I'm talking about, you know, uh, people being kicked off of Twitter and people getting their accounts banned and websites like ar15.com being removed uh, and banned from, from GoDaddy. So they had to remove and, and take their name to another registrar in order to, to reopen their website. So um, as I was building uh, Hashtag Space, I figured I had a, a three to five years uh, of time uh, before you know these people would be coming from, from the Web 2.0 sites and, and they needed a place to land. So what we're doing here at, at MetaHash and Hashtag Space is we're creating a, an ecosystem for to give services uh, for people that need services and people that want to learn about blockchains and they want to learn about cryptocurrencies, but they don't really have an idea where to start. The, uh, the place to start is just downloading the, the, our, our browser, 
which uh, you can get to many different internets. And I'll talk about that here in a little bit as well. But that gets you either your, your, your wallet and allows you to automatically start uh, taking your part of the new internet. You can take that a little further and actually rent a node and set up a server and then earn even more money. Uh, we also have a, um, a three level uh, multi-level marketing is what, what uh, is built into the backbone of MetaHash. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop down. If you want to type this out for me, I'm not sure where that is in the channel that I can type. Can I type uh, in in the, in the oh, chat? You, you can, yes, you can type in into the private chat and then I'll copy paste it. I okay, saw all, all the Let streams me, that are running. Thank you. That, Thank so. you. And yeah. guys, and guys, again, the first part is me and Robert, and then the second part are, is live Q and A. Live Q and A. You can ask your questions. Yes. Yep. So, Thank so you. at uh, at, hash, at hashtag dot org, uh, everybody can go over there and, and see that this resolves to a an affiliate ID. The affiliate ID, uh, everyone can get that, and just by being on the webinar today, uh, everybody can download the Metagate browser and automatically get one thousand MHC coins deposited uh, to their accounts. Hashtag. Uh, hashtag dot org. Uh, dot org. Uh, HTTPS is <laughs> not valid. Is it not? Yeah. Oh, we didn't get the HTTPS. So Bang. just go to the HTTP. We just set it up today yes. just to show how it forward over and go to the okay. actual. And so it was easy to remember. And no so um, and so if everybody goes over there, anybody wants to download and try it out, the browser, they can download the browser okay. and then get 1000 MHC automatically. You can then start staking that MHC on whatever server you wish and start earning daily rewards, uh, nightly coins that will come into your wallet. And so uh, that's just by being on the webinar and that's set up by the Met metagather.org that is a program set up by the MetaHash team. And uh, basically, so everybody that joins there will have an affiliate tag too. So if you go somewhere and talk about it, post your affiliate tag and people that join up will go underneath you. And then a little bit of their mining and a little bit of people uh, of daily rewards that happen uh, will also go into your wallet and you can track those rewards there. So a really interesting uh, piece to a blockchain uh, uh, invitation uh, project. So I haven't seen this anywhere else. And so there are other ways inside, um, uh, not MetaHash, but hashtag space. There is okay. an affiliate program as well, but I'll, I'll get into that as we, we get in, into that in time. Um, again, let me go back just a little bit about the, no uh, go ahead. Were you saying something? No, I'm saying no problem. No problem. Okay. Go on. Okay. Yes. Very good. All right. So again, uh, just by holding, listen, just by holding MHC companies in the future uh, will come to our decentralized browser, which has decentralized applications. These decentralized applications are like websites that won't go down. They're decentralized. Okay. It's like a decentralized web. And so there are also other databases, database driven dashboards and other uh, more sophisticated type of softwares that will be located at our meta app section as well. So we have a decentralized browser with a dApps or meta apps section. Okay. These are a little bit a step beyond the normal smart contracts and you're able to set up things that are called DAOs that are, um, that run forever. Even after you die, you set up your programming language, you set up a server, you set up the, everything that's working and it all pays back in an ecosystem and you, you let the community run it and, uh, it keeps running forever. And so I'm not sure how many people have heard about those types of things, but, uh, these are going to be available on the backbone of MetaHash network. And so what we're also building, uh, again, are the advertising. There are, uh, free keywords that you get when you buy hashtag domain names. So that you can show up in the uh, native in the in the organic search part of our browser uh there there are many different advertising aspects content marketing my main company blackwood.productions you know you can get five keywords free for your website over there for life uh we've been doing that for 17 years we have uh, thousands of customers on the first page of google yahoo and bing DuckDuckGo uh for free and so if you want to try that out but uh you know these types of systems that we we have that are for like marketing your business are being ported over uh, as dApps, decentralized applications on the backbone of MetaHash to be offered uh, again in the ecosystem. So again, right now we have up and operating a domain name uh, system, a domain name registrar platform. We have a social media site. It's not decentralized yet, but it's up for uh, to being ported over as a dApp. We have uh, our own search engine that we're working on that uh, we're gonna be using uh, in affiliation with DuckDuckGo results in our center because DuckDuckGo does not track. You can surf DuckDuckGo anonymously and we like that. 
Um, and so uh, there are a few other services that you're going to be uh, natively, you can get to help your business. And so in the future, there are companies going to be uh, buying up MHC. Why? Because when they buy MHC, what do they get back? They get back MHC at 30 to 40% of what they invested. So if they buy, you know, a million coins, they're getting back 400,000 coins or so each year. And that those coins are the gas and the fuel of our system. What does that mean? Just by holding MHC, if you have a business, if you have any type of business on the internet, the normal internet today, the WWW, uh, we can help you with advertising that. We can help you with advertising in the new internet, the new decentralized web. Uh, and but all of those things can be paid with MetaHash, the gas that runs this. So just by holding, buying and holding and staking MetaHash, you're earning MetaHash, which helps you with your online business efforts. And that is not, uh, I haven't seen not one blockchain that is set up to do that. And most blockchains are being built for geeks and nerds and people that know everything like what, like we are, that we know all these things, right? It's not being built for the masses. It's not being built. The masses would never go to try to find something like that. So, you know, what we're building here is a gateway for people to come and land and to have services like social, like have a place to, to see videos that are decentralized without being tracked a place where you can get paid. Yes, you can get paid MHC just by joining our social media site and taking and participating by uploading photos. And by being there, you know, you can earn MHC by searching in our search engine, which is not built yet, but it's coming. I've got mock-ups to show you here in, the, here in a little bit uh, just by searching. So uh, the people that pay us for ads that want to advertise in the decentralized br browser uh, will pay ads and 50% of those ads, go back to the people that are searching those ads. So that's unique. That means if you go searching out on there on the web, on the decentralized web, and you happen to land on an ad, well, a part of that advertising spend will go into you uh, in MHC just because you landed and saw the ad, not for anything else. So, uh, we're, so no longer are these companies like Google and everything else being able to take, you know, all of the profits and, 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 and take them for themselves. Now you can participate and be a part of that of that chain process and get paid in the middle. And so uh, we even have an affiliate program inside of hashtag space. You share your affiliate link on social media sites or wherever. If you're an influencer and you have millions of users, you can share this affiliate link. When people come and join uh, and they buy one of these services, they, let's say they buy, if they don't buy an MHC, what if they don't buy an MHC? They, they pay with PayPal or they pay with a credit card. Well, that means you earn 25% of everything they buy from this platform. This is the only blockchain program or platform that I know that you can go and earn MHC, a cryptocurrency, but you can also earn actual fiat money and dollars uh, by the, the referral program that come in that offer real business services that actually help websites and businesses. Like all of the people here I know that are watching this have websites and businesses because we all do. So, uh, so, so any, any questions? Go ahead. Well, you said so much. <laughs> so, uh, are you ready for the questions? I am. So, in the very end, you said uh, people can earn real money uh, fiat. So, That's what correct. is real, crypto or fiat? They're both real, but what can be used <laughs> easier in in our day and age is is real cash money. You know, that's what's going right. around. That's what's been going around for a while. That's what'll keep going around for a little while longer. But the new money, yeah, new money is different. Cryptocurrencies are definitely shaking up the world. You might have seen some of these uh, countries crashing around the world. Maybe that's why we even had this pandemic. I heard that the dollar crashed and that we may have that, you know, they're just staving off. I don't know. All I know is that the Bitcoin, this type of technology disrupts governments. At not only the fundamental levels, because that's what smart contracts are, are replacing judicial systems. And so judicial systems are only contracts backed up by people. And so uh, smart contracts are those contracts backed up by code, code and program and code. Uh, they're not greedy. They don't lie. You know, they don't cheat. Oh, well, programmers are. Programmers are. Yeah. And uh, investors are greedy. Programmers That's, are greedy. Yeah. Every person is greedy. Right. Hello, greedy people. <laughs> <laughs> so. Got time application. Is it really okay. decentralized? Why do uh, you say decentralized, decentralized, decentralized? So the question is approximately how many nodes do you have? And how many of those nodes are run by your group? 
Okay, my, uh, my group has one node. It's a core node. We used to have about four nodes. Uh, and there are oh, literally okay. hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of nodes. So I have one out of hundreds of nodes. So, okay. uh, yep. So there is one core node. You said you have four different nodes. Yeah, there are uh, Torrent, Peer, Verification, and Core. And they're all different types of nodes. In order to operate each one, each different uh, node, it, needs, it requires so much Metahash coin to put down on the node to get it to operate. And so if you want, the core node is the most expensive at 10 million MetaHash at today's price, about $50,000 to stake down on top of it, just to get it to where it starts mining okay. and earning you and forging you money each night. So, and uh, so 10 million MHC for, for half a penny, uh, for half a penny per piece, yeah. and you could get a core node. And at the moment there is only one core node. No, 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 no. There are many core nodes. I'm just, I have one oh, oh, myself. You, you, you have one yourself. Yeah, I have yeah. one myself that I'm participating personally in. Uh, and so there are many, many others. I'm, I think right now there are about 20 some nodes, core nodes, and we just launched the core nodes. So they're just now launching up. And, so the, core node, and the core node would be something like full, complete master node. That's correct. As, yeah. So full, full master node. Okay. So what goes under the, the big master node? Um, I'm, I'm not really sure. I just know that there's peer verification and torrent. There are different makeups for each one that make up the consensus of Peer the block. verification yeah. and torrent. And, yeah, torrent. And torrent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, they, and they make up the block. So, so basically, a lot of these nodes are geographic. Some of them are over the continent, like core nodes. And then basically, all of these core nodes and, and, and torrent nodes, peer nodes, verification nodes, all talk to each other within three seconds time to okay. to transact. So transactions happen within three seconds on the MetaHash blockchain. That's really quick. So how do you, uh, you still have blocks, yes? Yeah. So how blocks are made? How blocks are made? Well, yes. Blocks are made by the transactions that pass through the network. And so basically those are uh, are shared throughout the network and then that how, block how blocks. How blocks are formed? How, so you have four different, uh, four different, uh, for, I, I understand. I actually heard that you've got this another node that is analytics node that does the payments. An analytics node. I'm not familiar. Uh, with so the payments are done once in 24 hours. Could it Every be four hours you can get, you can earn like, there's like a sweepstakes that happen. And let, let me just be clear. Yes. Yes. I, I am not, I am not an expert on okay. the MetaHash backbone. I am building on the back. I am the, uh, I'm building on the MetaHash backbone network. Okay. But I am not the core team. I am. I am. Re I am really, really curious in how do you guys manage to get that crazy amount of transactions? So fifty thousand okay transactions. In, okay, let's say not one second. In three seconds. Yeah. Well, it's fifty thousand transactions per second. So in three seconds, one hundred fifty thousand transactions. Who, who, who verifies? What verifies them? The, the the node. This is the whole MetaHash network. That's what they built. That's what this thing does is it allows transactions to pass that quickly. There's a white paper and a yellow paper on the metahash.org website. So for any more in-depth technical, I would refer you to go there because even I have not read the entire piece on certain, because some of this stuff is really technical and I'm not a mathematician. Okay. I'm a businessman that have ideas and I implement ideas on blockchains that I find very, very you know interesting where I can make uh, good money on my return. So. That's why I'm here to talk about MetaHash. Okay, so. cool, cool. That's that's, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely yep. fine. And yep. okay, Robert, uh, what is the core team? What is the core team uh, on yes. the website? So, Again, let, let me. What, let what me is what is what is the what is the management? Uh, what is the management side? Who who runs? Uh, who makes the decisions? Uh, let us talk about the centralized side. Thank you. Okay, so there's what well, we have. What's called a consensus. So the consensus algorithm allows members of each of, of each browser to vote on things that are happening within the community. So just like uh, I sent you over to hashtag.org, yes. uh, I'm, I'm not, again, a core member of the team, but I am the not even the dubbed community leader, but I am the business, I'm one of the business leaders that are actually building the, the, the backbone of MetaHash. And we are taking over not only the, uh, once once the decentralization takes part of the, the browser, even the browser is being donated over to be called the hashtag browser to the hashtag org found foundation and i sent you the hashtag org uh, 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 
website tonight, but it's just a forward over to the MetaGather, but that'll be further built out because this is just happening. And so not only is the, is the platform decentralized by people that own it, you have to realize that the MetaHash team has built a software and we, the people, are deploying that software on servers and nodes that the MetaHash team have, do not control. So that's what makes this system decentralized because they don't have control over who is running and paying the server bills on those on the network. Okay. Well, it is it is well it is the same as I'm running Microsoft Word on my computer. Microsoft doesn't control what I'm typing into the Microsoft Word, but Microsoft controls the software. They run the updates. They can do whatever they want, Robert. Yes, but they? Microsoft Microsoft is not open source like our project. Our project is open source completely. If you wanted to make a hard fork of our software, you could copy the software, make a hard fork, and open your own blockchain. So it's a little different than Microsoft. No, no, no. Of course, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not going into that. I just want to understand who forms the team and how the consensus is met. You know, uh, Robert. Well, there are so many, uh, the main problem with what, what I see, maybe uh, that's my arrogant point of view and I'm, I'm totally into my company, and, but still follow up cryptocurrencies and much less any, any other industry. Uh -huh. The main problem, the main problem with cryptocurrencies, as I see, they haven't got big enough communities and mostly the projects are run by small teams and the power is centralized within that team and they are not truly decentralized. And that's the biggest problem. So once somebody comes up with a, pro, with, with a, and once somebody comes up with a, an idea for upgrade, they say, hey, we must do that. What is the process? How the yeah. consensus is actually? Yeah, I, again, if you go to the website and check out the consensus, the, these things are not gonna be actually be able to be done until the decentralization tax takes place this week. So once that happens, because right now, if we're not decentralized, you, you can't go vote. You're not going to be able to go and vote and make it to be to make okay. it really. So, so, so at the moment you are centralized platform. Yeah, yes. our main our main net will go decentralized this week. That's why uh, our price okay. is still low. OK, so and what will happen after a week after a week? Okay. Uh, did you did you say on Friday? Yes. Yep. Friday. So, and so, so that's in that's in three days. Yep. Yep. Bang. So basically, okay. yay. So, uh, you know, by going decentralized in three days allows the project to be autonomous, allows the servers to be up and running and to be self-correcting. Error correcting means no one in the future has to manipulate or touch the core software for the system to run. Any new upgrades would be done by voting and adding or changing anything in the future by the consensus algorithm, the multi-pause, which is on the white, white paper as well, is how they do the consensus. And so, uh, once that happens, smart contracts will be available. Uh, you'll be able to tokenize NFTs. Those are like artworks, just like the Twitter. Uh, just the, the 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 owner just did an Jack NFT in his first tweet, and it's up to over two million dollars, I guess. So you'll be able to do NFTs on our platform. You'll be able to do uh, many many different things that blockchains uh, that are doing today. Uh, but at, you know, one thing I forgot to mention about the MetaHash blockchain, which sets it, sets it apart from others, is up to 20% of the network load, there are no gas fees. And so if there are no, there's not a network load and it's below 20%, you can transact on our platform for free. Wow. Yeah, that's huge in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, that's huge. And so... Up, up to 20% uh, of the load. Yeah, up to, when it gets above 20%, then small fractions of fees start to take place. And it, and it means and it means until there is no gas paid for uh, transactions, uh, there are there there is no profit made yep. by master nodes. Yeah, so well. that's right. And those 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 profits go back into the community as rewards. So any gas fees that are charged for transactions goes yes. back into the ecosystem. So the owners have already unlocked their their holding. So you know when owners they create projects, they they take so much MHC or they take so much of their coin. And then over a certain year period, their founder unlocked, they get to unlock those coins and they can transact. This has already happened on our network. So all of the owners that invested in MetaHash already have all of their money back. So this is already an open platform and being controlled and, and, and uh, being used by the community, anybody that uses it. And so that's why no one's over top of this. No one's actually running. I, I mean, I'm here, I'm not I'm actually running the community, but I'm here because I'm, I'm a big advocate 
because I see I see what's there, you know, and a lot of people are not talking about. I mean, just tell me, where can you go and, and invest your money? I don't care what the price of the coin is. If the coin price is at a half a penny and then you invest a certain amount of money and that gets you a thousand or a hundred thousand coins by you holding those coins, you increase your coins by 30 to 40 percent per year by just holding on to the coins. So uh, just by if you put a thousand dollars into this, you're going to gain 30 to 40 percent on that on that money each year, let alone the price going up on the coin. Imagine when you got a two factor, you're getting 30 to 40 percent of new coins yearly. And then also by the growth of the coin going up in price, you got two factors of, of ways that are going to make you rich just by owning MHC. Bang, 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 start bang, bang. your give me a, greedy give me a ding, give me a ding. Bang, 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 start your greedy <laughs> engines. <laughs> That's right. I'm with so, I've been following Masternodes quite a lot, and there is that uh, there is that awesome website Masternodes.io, I think. And mm. it was it. Who can correct me? So Masternodes.io. Uh, I'm taking it totally out of my memory. Uh, a year, two years ago, and yeah. they actually had a huge list of those Masternodes. And you know, Robert, uh, usually the new Masternodes only pay that money. They start promising 80, 90 percent return. But then once more and more people start getting in, those profits. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. So and this is planned for there. Remember, we talked about half of the coins being given yes. away over the next 10 years. So you've got 10 years to get in. I think we've already done three. Okay. Yes. So you may have seven left of seven. getting in now, and getting a, a portion of those billions of coins that are going to be given away. Because again, today, if even if they're giving away, it's half a penny. Look, it's half a penny, and we're giving everyone that joins up tonight a thousand, a thousand at a half a penny. I'll give you five bucks. Okay, just can I know? Can I know? Can I know? You ask you a question actually about those those millions, billions of coins. Can yeah. I? Yep. If you, uh, if again, if it is not your field of expertise, we can go into into the browser. And before I sure. go, it is amazing what you have done. Seriously. Thank you. We, right. as a small Latvian community, and well, and we'll be, well, as we're starting it once again, we haven't been able, able to launch a totally transparent coin. Yeah. And you guys have done so much beyond. You know, there is so much criticism online. Oh, yeah. that is not good. Oh, that is not good. In this yeah. case, guys, launch at least a token with a small community. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not yeah. talking about coin, and it is super amazing. So yeah. that that's there is so much respect from me. Yeah. And yeah. here here is a question, uh, Robert. Okay. So MetaHash, uh, and su super impressive. So rank seven hundred seventy one on on Coin Market Cap. So uh, maximal supply nine million nine, nine billion, billion nine yeah. billion nine billion coins. So how many have been pre mined? Right now, there are two over two and a half billion coins in circulation. So each year, there are a certain number of coins that are released. And so that's why our price is staying down, but our market cap keeps growing. Right now, we're at 13 million on a market cap, but you know that keeps growing and growing and growing because people are holding this. So but in time, right now, there are no adopters except for me and a few others that are starting to build real business services on the MetaHash blockchain. But once that happens and there are real use cases okay. that take real world money, then that will start to actually transact within the market cap. So when you start seeing people transact in, in MetaHash, buying advertising on the decentralized web or buying a hashtag domain name for $24.95 uh, with MetaHash, which you get a third off if you buy in MetaHash, by the way. Okay. Um, and so uh, when the buying and paying for these services in MetaHash, is what you know will cause that demand to go up, and those that hold MetaHash won't have to buy a whole lot of MetaHash because they get it dripped to them, and they can pay for their advertising fees. Imagine if you were just holding a cryptocurrency right now okay. that, that allowed you to pay for Google AdWords on on, on, on the internet, Made, allowed you to pay for 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 ads with Google uh, straight from whatever it dripped to you. Imagine how, you, how that would be really nice, wouldn't it? If yes, Bra so Brave, Brave actually wants to do something like that. They are already doing, I think. But oh. every, everybody does it in, in their own way. Yeah. And exactly. and that's... So that's what we're doing. So we're having real-world business services here 
that yes. people can come and start to buy. If you don't want to hold MetaHash, that's fine. Pay pay with whatever dollar you want to, or Canadian dollar, or, okay. or whatever ruble. Uh, pay pay with whatever you want to. But uh, you know that starts to inflate the market cap because what happens? These services uh, that we've created here donate fifty percent back into the ecosystem. So everybody holding MetaHash coin. Okay. And, and, and so let's say that I've got ten million dollars worth of new business that's coming in monthly from the advertising, from the, the new hosting services on the decentralized web, the new the, the new hashtag domain name sales. All yes. of these, all this money starts to come in and half of that goes back in and that we buy MetaHash on the open okay. market and then we divvy it up with the people that are holding the coin. Who is we? Um, the people, me, like me, hashtag space, the guy that's building right now a few of these uh, systems. Okay. That's a part of my ecosystem uh, uh, technology is the fact that we are doing the ecosystem and, and donating back our the resources to the community for participation okay. for adoption so can can i can i ask you do you understand correctly so yep. metahash as a cryptocurrency and blockchain yep a really really interesting one uh -huh. they are they are separate entity then at some point in the very beginning you came in with mm -hmm. your ideas about metagate yes. and hashtag domains yes and then you are building and you guys united I'm, I'm, hel I'm, I'm helping uh i'm helping meta hash the core team uh realize some of the front end um stuff that needed to be built they built the back end stuff all the stuff that they, they they had to be built in order for the front end side to exist and so in order to facilitate and and to make the front end development go faster they've allowed me you know uh but they tell me they don't allow me to do anything if I pay for a programmer and throw up a dApp on the system, it either gets used or it don't. It doesn't. So okay. and that's what I did. And, and people are using the dApp. People are using hashtag space, which we haven't gotten too much into. Tonight. Well, we'll, 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 we'll get to that. Uh, so <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, and so that's how it's happening. I, it's, I, it's I'm, 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 I'm trying it's to basically uh, me yeah. knowing the fact that in order for an, uh, an ecosystem to work like this and to get major adoption, we have to give something away. We have to use that greed of the people have okay. and yes. give something away. And that means if you want to come in and use our search engine or be in our social space or give out our affiliate link or do whatever you want to do, you're going to earn something back from that. Either 25% in real cash from somebody buying something from us or from some type of earning from MetaHash coin being, being given back to your wallet. And so there's two, there's more than one way to, to win here with MetaHash and hashtag space. Uh, okay, so MetaHash, Russians? Yep, it's a Russian. Russian uh, one, 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 one minute. Uh, парни, откуда вы? Uh, на русском давайте скажите, откуда вы, что вы делаете? Uh, Питер, Москва, Казань. Поднимайтесь, поднимайтесь, вы же смотрите. Uh, yeah. So what I, what I said, hey guys, uh, come on, come out of the shade, wherever you are sitting in St. Pet Petersburg, Moscow, Kazan, Ukraine, wherever. Come on, yep. guys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we can see that you are watching. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, th there are a few questions. And uh, look, I've, so uh, so coins are not being mined as, as, as they are. They are being released. Do I understand it correctly? Yeah, they're being dripped out each year. Each each year, there's a percentage of coins that will be dripped okay. out. That goes to cool. people okay. mining people. That goes into the rewards that we're talking about okay. here. So these Stop. rewards are already built into the project. Yes, it just, just needs you to come and take these coins. Okay. So so uh, let's say uh, let's say half of uh, half a billion coin coins come out, uh, or four hundred thousand coins, uh, four hundred million coins come out. A year, let us say, uh, I haven't got a clue, but doing yeah. quick math, something yeah. like that. And yeah. then 50% will go into rewards and 50% will stay for development and yeah. all the other. They, they have it broke down into a pie chart that, that, that handles the development. Part of the development is paid for by the rewards as well. Okay. So there are many different uh, parts of the of the pie that gets paid for out of, out of the, the MHC that gets released each year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here's a question from Kristaps. Why do you need a new cri cri uh, new currency for those services? Just um, who's existing? We, we don't need a new currency for those. That's a good question, but we don't need a new currency for these services. Um, okay. 
currencies are, uh, you know, you can hold whatever other currency you want. It's just the fact that we're building an ecosystem here that allows you to use the MetaHash protocol. You know, okay. a, a, a lot of people look at, at coins and just think, oh, they're just coins, they're just coins. They're just coins. They're not, not all of them are just coins. Ethereum's not just a coin. It's also a, the world's mini, the world's computer. So it does Ecosystem. the things that, you know, like smart contracts and things like that. So like the Platin protocol, if you look that up, that's a geo specific protocol that allows you to pinpoint and target certain things uh, by GPS on a, on a 3D map. And so why do you need a coin for that? Uh, in order to use the protocol. So uh, like VeChain, why do they need to create another uh, coin called VThor? It's because they have to have a way that, uh, that they can keep track of the use case inside the blockchain itself. And so when you're using blockchain services, you have to be able to have a coin that's stable enough to be able to there and say, hey, I know I'm paying in this coin and this is what this thing does. So it's an interconnected uh, community like uh, ecosystem when you're talking about coins and then like Bitcoin's just a storage. It's just a cryptocurrency, whereas many other coins have like like Polkadot and Cosmos. Those are interoperability plays. So these are these are blockchains that are working to integrate other blockchains and let all blockchains talk together. And so why would you need some Polkadot? Um, probably if you want to be a part of that ecosystem. And if you think that that the ecosystem in Polkadot and the under, under underlying programming is sound, then you would invest in the currency, not to use as a payment system, but to have uh, the, pro, the the actual coin as a protocol, because maybe it's not valuable to you as the as the coin as a protocol. But someone imagine those those people uh, that are spending one hundred thousand dollars or more uh, a month in AdWords and spending uh, stuff with Google that in the future, if they can come and spend that with MetaHash, imagine that. I mean, it's like, um, why would someone need MetaHash? They might need it, but you might not. But you might be able to hold it and sell them some with your earnings that you get from staking. So uh, I hope that answers the question. Why does the world need another 1,000 1, people? <laughs> why? <laughs> we probably <won't. laughs> they, they are just there. That's well, fine. Actually, we no. do. <laughs> 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 no, that's that's absolutely fine. This is yeah. an open world. The coins yeah. should be lots and different. Uh, I'm a huge yeah. advocate for, for lots of coins. And the last question about the coin, and then we'll go to to, to the next to the next question of Metagate. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, here you go. Here I had a question and okay, Metagate. So okay. what is the story behind Metagate? You mean, the, uh, I think we already spoke about the Metagate. The Metagate is basically the decentralized browser. Uh, I can explain a little bit more if you want to go into more detail. Let me go into a little bit more detail. Y yes, that. please. Yes, please. And I love different browsers. Huge fan. Okay. I have quite a lot of them. Thank you. Okay, cool. All right. So so basically, um, this browser is a blockchain browser. And what I mean by that okay. is br the browser itself is built on the MetaHash blockchain. But not only that, you can resolve, you'll be able to resolve other blockchain decentralized applications using our browser. Okay, so for right now, for example, um, let me just, can I share my screen? Absolutely. And you should. And you should. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, so let me. Let oh, me no, th there, is, uh, there is a button actually in your dashboard that allows you to share uh, the whole screen or one window or one tab. Yeah, I think I clicked on it. Let's see, video file, share screen. Uh, sh yes. Uh, and guys, screen. prepare your questions. Prepare your questions. The entire, the entire screen. We can okay. see there is a comment from, I think, coming from Georgia. Is it? Is it Georgia? Um, so, yes. Your, your, and your camera is switched off. Yes. Yeah, I, I have my um oh. my share screen on. Oh, is that what 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 is what is that what is that that you have there? That was interesting. That was an interesting interesting. Well, yes. That's what that's what came up on on here on this. Oh, okay. So when I click on. Okay. Oh, oh the comments. Cool. The comments. Yeah, it's fantastic. Okay. Okay. So. So, so that is your browser. Yes. Yeah. This is the browser, and so these okay. are these are the the uh, the main. Uh, portions of the browser the backbone that allow you to see your wallet the forging the network monitor and okay. so here, here we have let me just show you a few of them oh absolutely. Uh, we have the news so you keep up the news here when it comes directly fed into the browser um we have the meta uh, wallet so i have my meta hash here and so here i have some wallets 
and I can check and see what the price is. What the, okay. Three cents just the other day. News. Going back down some though, okay. But, uh, then you have wallets. Yeah, we have wallets. I can create wallets. I can do a wallet for MHC. I can do a Bitcoin wallet. I can do an Ethereum wallet for now, and in the future, we'll be able to do a few more wallets. Uh, do uh, users do users control the keys for the wallets? Who yes, controls the keys? Yes, they do completely. Okay. Yep. Thanks. So meta forging, this is where you go and uh, you can do server forging and coin delegation. So if you don't actually have a server, you would just want to put your money down on a server and, and stake and earn money back. You can okay. click here and that, this will give you an idea of some of the servers that we have. So this is just some of the servers that are out here now. That's why this is uh, decentralized because, you know, the, there's a lot of nodes out here. And is this information publicly available? Yes. Yep. Right here it is. You're seeing all of it. So, okay, and all these servers actually, uh, th they would be the master nodes, yes, uh, with 10 million coins. Some of these are peer nodes, some are verifier nodes, some are okay. core nodes, as you see here. So, um, just depends, they're all different okay. types of nodes, but uh, you can see we have a ton of nodes. It just, I just go keep going. I don't know how when this thing's gonna stop, but it did stop okay. right there. But we do have a pretty good bit of nodes out here. I'm not sure how many that is, but. That's okay. pretty good. So uh, let me go back to the meta apps. And yes. so uh, the network monitor, just gonna show the upward, uh, the connectivity, uh, how many people, 8,248 people have the browser open right now. There are 257 nodes online. Shows you how many torrents, how many, what the last block time. Okay, so uh, 200, took. 257 nodes, okay. Yep, 131 peer nodes, uh, 21 iTorrent nodes, 64 verifier and 13 core nodes. Okay. Um, our DNS, no issues, no issues, no issues. Forging state, three years. The founder unlocked as at 100%, as I was saying. Uh, team emissions, this is the emissions of the a MHC that gets poured back into the team to keep everything running. Okay. Uh, forging per day, we have 1,562,740 MHC uh, that's being forged today and given out daily. So um, a, good bit of, a good bit of cash flowing through. Let me go back to the... And this information is publicly available for everybody, yes? When you, when you pull down the browser, you're looking at the same thing I'm looking at. I'm looking at this. This is what you get. Okay. You're on the browser. So uh, MetaDev, which is about how to develop uh, and upload stuff, MetaDaps and stuff to, to the system. So mm -hmm. that's here for any developers. Uh, MetaTalk, and then we have like MetaVote and a few other things that we're working on bringing online as soon as the decentralization happens. And so uh, these are some dApps that have been uploaded. They're not real serious dApps from what I can tell. Uh, there may be a few in here that I miss, but uh, uh, there'll be the Mario game. A few things just kind of testing the system. Yes. But um, you YouTube know, is there. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so and I do have the hashtag space uh, dApp right here, which I'm going to click on and I want to demonstrate for you real quick. And so um, um, let me just do a search. If you want to give me a name real quick, I just do a search for it in hashtag space for the domain name. Uh, let us go, Georgia. Brilliant let, country. You want me to Georgia. do Georgia, just Georgia all together? Jo Georgia, yes, that would be interesting. Georgia's Georgia, okay. country comes or state. So Georgia is available, okay? And so um, I'm going to go ahead and just yeah. demo that, which we can demo okay. in our system. And so yes. I'm going to demo that. I'm going to go to my domains. Go to Georgia. I guess I didn't, I guess I didn't demo it. I'll probably look to it's here, fund your account. Let me take this out. Hold on. And buy. Okay. How much, how, much does, how much does it cost to buy a hashtag? Yeah, so hashtag domains are $24.95 per year. $24.95. Uh, yeah, per year. We, we actually are selling direct decentralized DNS. And so you're not really owning your decentralized hashtag domain name. You're owning your decentralized DNS for the year. And so our pledge is that we don't interfere with where you point your hashtag domain uh, through the entire year of your contract. And so that's not built into my software that I can even go in and exchange where someone's pointing their domain. I can't even see it where it's at. So um, actually I can see it, but I can't uh, change it. So, um, so basically um, I've got this domain now, Georgia. If I want to put in the site URL, just give me a, a place you'd like that to resolve. Uh, Georgia dot, uh dot com whatever Georgia. yes so Georgia.com, yeah. just saving that real quick for the site Thank url you. and then i'm going to go in here and just type in hashtag 
Georgia. If you notice, I typed it in all lowercase. But when yes. I go ahead and type it in and let it go now, uh, it's still not updated yet. Give me one second. I'm going to go back. No problem. No problem. Yeah, no, it'll, it'll happen. It just takes a few seconds for the DNS yes. to go back. Let me go back to here. Hashtag Georgia. Okay. Still waiting. Maybe it's the main is not resolving. Yeah, it takes takes us a second for the actual DNS to yes. upload. So I have, you know, I just just got the domain Georgia hold on, hashtag Georgia. Yep, still not updated just yet. Let me just show you another one real quick, like hashtag. Okay. You oh, you did okay. It just, uh, it just Here updated. we go. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, it just updated. So, but it actually forwarded. It's not supposed to forward, but sometimes they do forward. It depends on how the website yes. set up. Okay. So Georgia.com. So. Normally, that would stay within the hashtag. For example, if I type in hashtag SEO and I hit the enter and it goes to my website. Yep. Yeah. So that's going over to my website where you can actually just sign up for services. And so you've noticed that it didn't forward. It stayed right there on that domain. So I'm might it probably takes a few seconds for that to update, but in a, yes. in a few minutes that'll probably update. But I know that I, I know that we earlier did host Maria as well. And what is on host Maria? And I will definitely check your. Yeah, so I don't. You, you created a hashtag or that was demo. Yeah, I can't remember which one we created. Which one was Ho host, that? Host host Maria, host Maria, host Maria. Host Maria. Yes. We must. We most didn't do anything with that. So let me go over here to. Host Maria. Yes. Host Maria, like that. Yes, like it is. Maria okay. Magdalena. Yes. Buying that domain. Oops, logging in real quick. Hold on a second. I haven't been logged in here forever. I don't even remember oh, why. Oh, that's, that's that's fine. That's fine, Robert. <laughs> that's oh, absolutely fine. That's it's absolutely fine. Look. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so, Robert, um, is this your project then? Yes. This is my project here. Yes. Yeah. So, this so, is my so, 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 MetaGate is your project. MetaGate uh, is not my project. That's the browser for that's, the. That's the, the browser. Hash, yes. Meta hash or, or, or yeah. That, that my hashtag space is what runs on top. Or of the of the blockchain and actually allows you to buy DNS. Okay, it allows okay. you to buy these domain names and point them where you want to. So could you DNS. explain? Could you explain how your DNS works? Um, when, well, when you say when you say DNS, DNS is so complex. Um, yeah. So yeah. so basically, it makes DNS made it makes it easy for people. And so even and, buying domain names and pointing those domain names is kind of hard for some people. But as easy as it was for you to drop in a URL into that box. That's how simple it is to point your domain name here. You buy it and you point it. And so basically, um, like like for example, uh, our our hashtag domain names in our browser will can resolve to the normal internet. So I've taken you to the normal internet, like hashtag okay. um, domains normal normal website take you right to the normal website. Let me see hashtag host Maria. You can go to normal websites. Hashtag space. yes. You can go to normal websites. You can go to the uh, dark web uh, from this browser. So let me just. Uh, can can, can you show us? Yeah. So I, I, I bought uh, hashtag tunnels because I noticed there was a website for a university called tunnels. And it was just basically uh, showing all of the underlying tunnels under a university, which the university didn't really want that to be online. But um, it, it was on the dark web and here it is still. And so if you want to see some of the tunnels, you can click on uh, some of these. I, I just put this up here for an example, hashtag tunnels. It takes a little longer and a little bit longer to get there. And there's a little bit of latency, but it does okay. pop up and it does it does work. And so um, they didn't really want this to be up there. And, but you can see they've got underground you know, passageways underneath underneath one of the universities. And they're actually showing it here on the dark web, which can't be taken down. And so, um, you know, you can hashtag the normal site on the normal Internet. You can hashtag a website on the dark web. You can hashtag a website on hashtag space, which is a decentralized web uh, um, hosting as well, or the decentralized web, the interplanetary file system. You'll be able to point a hashtag over there. 
And so we have a few other expansions that the hashtag will be able to track in the future. But at the moment, that's what we're releasing is the fact that we'll be doing the tracking on the, at least the interwebs. We'll be tracking. Uh, and so these uh, hashtag domain names uh, have a lot more functionality. And I, I did watch your uh, your interview with Adam uh, the other day, and it was talking okay. about unstoppable domain names. Yes. And unstoppable domain names, uh, they have that system, like I said, where you claim your domain name. We're into uh, buying the domain name but not claiming it for your cryptocurrency addresses just yet. Okay. okay. So in the, in the future, uh, people will be able to send uh, money, cryptocurrency to your hashtag name. And so that'll be that it'd be very simple. Not even your domain name, it's just your name. And just by okay. joining also, let me just throw this in. Just by joining hashtag.space, if you join oh, and go sorry. into your profile section, that yes. we give you your first hashtag name for free. It okay, points uh, you name. Go ahead. Uh, could you enable your video, please? Sure. Uh, and later on we'll put put up your screen back on the Yep. Let me let me do that. Yes. Start the camera and. Yeah, let me go over there again. Hold no on. No problem. No problem. No problem. Start the camera. Kayak, okay. kayak man. Yep. Robot. Yes. Uh, once, once you so ex-military. Yes. And then going totally into different direction. Uh, I've been all and I've been into total life here so far. So I've been all over, but you know, landed basically doing internet marketing, building building platforms. Uh, you know, I am quite. Really, I am one of the products I do not want to touch is dark web. I even do uh -huh. not want to touch Thor Thor browser. Even uh, there is there is some kind of animal fear within me, as I do know that traffic is being uh, is being monitored. At least at least at least at least those connections are being monitored. So are you uh, mean, like being monitored right now on the normal uh, internet. Uh, well, the connections, the, 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 the connections, the connections are being flagged. So uh, ISPs, ISPs can definitely tell which users are using Tor. They they cannot see, they cannot see the. Am, am I right or am I wrong? I, I'm I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm pretty sure they can see pretty much everything you're doing now. So anything it would be an improvement. I would say if you want to go and be a little bit more free and be a little bit more anonymous, uh, you use everything like a free VPN network. Or synthesize that does show exactly who you are, or at least searching or using search uh, facilities that don't track what you're searching for, and so that's what we're building here at MetaHash and Hashtag Space uh, for those people that are worried about, like you just said, about being tracked on the web, about being tracked about so, what they're doing. You know what I mean? There's so no how free safe? So how? Uh, so how safe is it for an ordinary person to use your well, browser? Let's just say that there's no and, way and to go to go on dark web. Let's just say there's no way we could have just gotten to the dark web if the Thank browser you. wasn't secure enough to hide your identity because it wouldn't have resolved. It takes you an hour and a half probably to get the Tor browser set up and installed just so you can go view stuff on a certain level. So imagine yes. our browser is already set up and hashtags resolve there. I'm not saying you go visit there. But if you want to go there, Facebook has a central you know, not there for only malicious people or websites. So yes, I mean, I did say Robert, Facebook's there. So. Robert, we have some connection issues. Uh, could you please uh, shut down all the possible connections, like Skype and everything else? Maybe you have some torrents running, or yeah, or maybe I'm in Colombia, or maybe you are in Colombia. Oh, yeah, no, it could be that. Uh, where, where are you in Colombia? Med Medellin or? Yeah, I was in Medellin for a while, but I'm not going to state exactly where I'm at now because I'm all about that anonymous stuff. <laughs> are, are you? Are you? Yeah, so I, I'm actually close to Medellin, about an hour and a half away. So Okay. <laughs> are, are you some kind of libertarian as well? Uh, or, no, not at who all. You, who, who are you as a person? I just like, I like um, you know, my old America. I like freedom. I like apple pie and, and all that stuff good. And it seems like today things have gone awry and you can't, you have to be politically correct or you're going to be bashed and, and beat up. You know, I mean, that seems like a bunch of bullies to me. And I'd, I, I'd just rather be in the Colombian jungle and shut my doors and, and just turn on the Internet and see who I want to see and just tune everybody else out is where I'm at. So that's that's where I'm at. I mean, that's with me 51 years on this earth. I mean, you know, everybody else wants to take part and go do whatever. That's fine. But I, I'm at the point where I like to be a, 
And that's one reason why I am living here is because I feel like this is like so many years in the past. And I, even though it's okay. Columbia, I feel like uh, I have more freedoms here. Hey, at least I can collect my rainwater without having any problems. Nobody's rainwater. nobody's yes. telling me, hey, you can't <laughs> build this to your house. I actually have to go get a, you know, this, and, you know I just feel more free here. So which, which, which country uh, in, in South America was that Americans decided, American corporations decided to tax the rainwater on? And it almost started a civil yeah. war or something. I don't, even, I don't which, remember. Which, 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 which one was it? I don't even remember which okay. country that was, but it is coming to it, a country. It, it, was, it was absolutely ridiculous, but it, it did happen. Yeah, and it's coming to a country near you. <laughs> near me? Yeah, I'm sure it's expanding because that's the agenda. I, I, I'm in the UK, though I'm from Latvia originally, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, UK is actually quite libertarian, actually. Yeah, yeah, I was living quite, in the UK quite for a while. I didn't really like it so well. Why not? Uh, too many cameras. Oh yes, plenty yeah. of them. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, there's too many cameras. I just didn't feel just didn't feel safe. I just didn't feel I just felt invaded. I just didn't feel free at all. And so I had to leave there. After a couple so months. when was it? That was back. Um, I think back in 2008. Okay. Back in 2008. So, so they had old cameras then. I'm now sure. They, you know, now they have like, the new ones. Oh, in a place yes. called Altern Cam, uh, right outside of Manchester. So, at least it was good, close to the good football team, huh? <laughs> <laughs> or at least a couple of them. <laughs> yeah, a couple of them. That's right. <laughs> Not to argue with anybody in a safe, safe, safer way, safer way. So, um, how do you start? Uh, how do you start developing? Is it uh, is your what is your browser based on? Is it based on Chromium or or is no, it no. totally? It's totally uh, self-grown, homegrown okay. uh, here. Uh, we use C++, Python, and a few other okay. languages. Solidity. And well, that's another thing that uh, programmers out there and developers can use their normal programming lang languages. Uh, we're building a wrapper now that allows people to use their normal, natural, native programming languages to create smart contracts. And so they'll be able to Im import uh, databases and websites and whatever they do normally on the web into our decentralized network. And again, pay for those fees with MetaHash. And so, but that uh, our developer community, I wanted to put that out there, the fact that you don't have, there's not a huge learning curve in order to start building uh, those types of, of systems on, on the backbone of MetaHash. Yes, the question about MetaHash was, uh, I absolutely love Binance. Uh -huh. Meta, MetaHash is not on Binance. Uh, MetaHash is not on Binance. We, we, uh, we have not focused on uh, pushing our coin out to those exchanges because our main net is not decentralized yet. And so okay. until the fact until the fact that we, we got decentralized, you know, when you come out and you get in front of a lot of people, um, usually that first impression sticks. And so uh, the fact that we're going to be going and being decentralized this week, uh, we're starting to talk more and put uh, more emphasis on spreading the, the word about MetaHash and where we're going uh, today. So. Okay. George is asking, um, when do you think that the decentralization process will be complete? And after that, okay. what are your thoughts on marketing? Decentralization on the fact that the MetaHash system um, could be this week, but as far as the decentralization of the planet, you know, you're talking about another five to ten years uh, of, of adoption of people understanding what the decentralized web is. It's not going to be just one. There's going to be many different splintered decentralized webs. The hashtag space just being one of those because we're creating our own decentralized space uh, that we can actually let people upload things to. And so um, as far as that, the decentralization in terms of that, it's going to take a while for, um, you know, for people to leave. A lot of people will still never want to leave the normal Internet because they get things free and cheap and they don't care if people track them or they don't care if somebody censors this person. They're, you know, I, I'm not all I'm not about that, you know. So in, in our social media platform or whatever, you say what you want to say. It's a follow based platform. So if you don't like what someone's saying, unfollow them. You know what I mean? But it's a, it's a free speech platform. And so we don't invade on people's privacies, no matter what country you're from. Everybody becomes a, a citizen at hashtag space or meta hash. Uh, let us say Trump came in and became very vocal and took over 70, 80% of your traffic or, or exposure. Would you? I would, invite, him? I would invite him. I would invite him today to come. Him and his son Eric. 
you know, to come. That's one of the reasons why I built that social media platform after the election was stolen. And I'm sorry if people don't want to hear that, but our election was stolen. So and what are what are what are actually your thoughts on on uh, on Trump being taken off the Twitter? Um, that was ridiculous. Obviously, it's 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 ridiculous. It's an antitrust violation. Um, in in the in the era that I was grew up in and whatever, the the big courts would have slammed down on that. These people would have big huge lawsuits. They'd be paying big huge fines right now, and nothing is happening. Nothing. And so I didn't feel like, you know, that I would even see this uh, within the next five to 10 years. I thought maybe, okay, maybe I'm building this and maybe it's not needed and it won't be needed. But man, boy, was I wrong. You know, they're coming out and slapping people left and right. If they don't like you, they're talking about just because if you think Trump, this, whatever, you're going to have to be reeducated. I'm sorry, you know, but um, I, I'm just not a part of that. You know I mean? you I've, I've got my own feelings. I've got my own way of doing things. And I like, I like to keep it that way. And so if somebody wants to take that from me, they can go somewhere else. And I'll just create my own place called hashtag space and invite all my friends. And so Trump, is most, friend, Trump, Trump is most welcome. Trump and everybody else is most welcome. Even Putin. Even. Even. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I've been known to cohort with Russians. I mean, I, they are my programmers. So. Huh. <laughs> What's your history with the Russians? Um, well, I, I really nothing until I got into this project because uh, I've always had like an American program or somebody that I could you know, have on my same uh, language base that was easier to communicate. So, um, okay. but all the Russians have, uh, are really have the program. And, um, okay, I had no fear of jumping on board when jumping on board at the backbone of MetaHash because I feel actually makes me feel really solid. So. Uh, do you speak Russian? I don't. No, you don't. I don't. speak Spanish, but that's about it. That and in English, sometimes. <laughs> and a little bit of crypto. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of crypto. Yeah. Oh, so. awesome. So uh, on on Friday, on Friday. Yeah, on Friday. The MetaHash is going from centralized platform to decentralized. We're semi decentralized now, but the, the core nodes making the, the platform fully decentralized, meaning that if you're in China and you wanted to see something that block that China was blocking, then through our browser or our plugin that that you would be able to use our browser and, and resolve that blocked address in your in your for in your native country. So that's big news because that that, that allows not even uh, countries to inter intervene or to say what their what their citizens are going to be able to see or not see. And I find that fascinating. Okay, let us say a Canadian pedophile came in and said, look, it is totally legal in Canada. And he he puts up a website hashtag on your on your system. And you've got uh, you have children, I have four daughters. I, I and, have children. Well. And, and, and for me, and for me, you know, Canada can can have a nuke for for <laughs> this, I, this I, well, my, my apologies. <laughs> I, I understand uh, completely what you're saying about that. Yes. And, and, and what why there will why is there consensus I, I do apologize about such a sensitive topic oh, but, okay. but yeah, I'm bringing it up. yes it's a I'm good curious. question and so Thank basically you. um for for things like that there will be a consensus platform that allow the community to uh take it off of the display platform so um let's say it will not show up in results it's not going to show up here it's not going to show up there but i i think most likely and I'm not, I haven't thought that far out yet, but if I'm going to let it, people buy anonymous domain names and point them where they want to, and I'm not going to interfere with that, then that's going to have to be my policy. I'm not going to advertise. I'm not going to display them wherever in any type of advertising efforts of any way, shape or form. But how can I be truly decentralized if I'm going to pick and choose what my personal beliefs are and, and, and fringe that upon somebody else? I can't. I mean, I, even though I disagree with it, what can I do? Uh, and then I would be just be another centralized platform saying, yeah, um, you can do whatever you want to except for that or except for this on this day tomorrow only at five o'clock. Can't do that. The centralized platform is not going to work that way. Uh, maybe there's going to be an emergency type of consensus platform uh, where people give thumbs up, thumb down, vote on something to be completely removed. And we give that to the community. That's something that uh, we are working on at a protocol called Oath. You can look at that. 
at oath.services. Okay. Uh, it's a project that we took over. Uh, it's about governance and the governance layer between blockchain, uh, uh, blockchains and human layer governance. And so basically it's a juror system on the, on the, on the, on the oath protocol. And so okay. if you basically, let's say you were to buy a product from someone and that product was, uh, insured with oath, meaning that if you got that product and it was not as you described, you could put a case in and that case would go to three or four different jurors and those jurors would decide your case on a third party level and not from the company. Are and you so serious? Yes. It's something that we, Oh, we, come on. Just imagine growing to that level as eBay. Well, I mean, you, we, you, we you will need, you will need a, you will need a whole, whole, but the lead working just on, yeah, on, on that, that's, gonna be the backbone, that's the backbone consensus of the, of going to be, be the meta. I mean, that meta hash has its own POS multi POS, but we're also going to have the oath protocol, which is one of the next um, coins that will be tokenized on the backbone of MetaHash and securing <laughs> all transactions. And so, like I said, there's many, many, many things happening. And it, this, this, uh, this little webinar that we're doing right here is not going to cover all of it. So, oh, absolutely, absolutely. And Adam, yeah. I do apologize. I know you are from Canada, but I've, I've actually, um, I've actually heard that uh, pedophilia was more or less legalized in Canada somehow, somehow. And no, no, there was, there was one law passed like three or yeah. four years ago, maybe five years ago. And I, I know that they've been working, they've been working on a global project, it seems to become more uh, taken as like a sexual orientation. Yeah, yes, yeah. something, yeah. something seems, like seems that. And, that. So, yeah. and I was just thinking, you know, and that is just one of the samples. But there are some certain certain lines that should not be crossed. And how, for example, and if I have a if I'm an investor, so I have some I have some some funds, or I run an actual fund, and I've got some pension money. So how can I invest them in your? Yeah, there is a couple in, in, in Metagate when I know that there is a possibility if a, if a pedo comes in. He can host his with website. I do not want to support him. Um, you know, I, I don't want to support that either. Okay. Uh, that, that was a very hard. Then my, hard then my apologies for that, Adam. I mean, that's a very hard question to answer, but um, and I'm trying to answer that in the best way possible because you know, in one hand, yep, uh, I can't say yes, I'm going to take that off because I, I don't even have that built into my system. That would means I would have to build that to where I go and and alter that person. And take that away now if the community and the consensus of the community is all about paying for the domain name that the money that was paid by the pedophile okay. and they strip the domain from him by the consensus i'm all for that and that'll be a, they'll be built there'll be some securities built into that for that reason at the moment okay. but uh you know that that is a very hard question that you asked right there and my apologies I, it is I, no, no I, I'm ask, I got my asking them i'm asking all these questions out of curiosity it re really it is super impressive like you have tons and tons of things to, to dive into okay yep. so and you are saying decentralized browser yes yeah decentralized browser so uh it's how like do a you manage this, this how do you manage decentralization thank you okay so so basically the, the browsers work off of all the, the nodes the four nodes that we spoke about that's what connects the browser and delivers the services and transactions okay. Okay. are the backbone the servers that are you know people are putting up and so um, the browser is, you know, that's what makes it decentralized is the fact that it is a, uh, a browser that is is working off of the backbone of many servers that are not owned by one corporation. OK, uh, decentralization is mostly about who is in power making yeah, decisions. Who can, who can turn a node on or off? Who can stop and, and manipulate data? Yes. So in, and in the browser's case, who are these people? The browser's case are the people that are staking, that are creating those nodes and staking their own money. And so what they're saying basically is I'm going to put my own money down on this node to ensure that I'm, I'm saying that that's my, my policy. I'm not going to manipulate this code. So if someone would, were to manipulate that code and try to take over the network, they could lose their money that's staked down on the, on the node. So somebody wants to update your browser. They want to improve it. What's the process of uh, of submitting a suggestion and process of it? It is your project totally, yes, Metagate. 
So you yeah. should you should know the hierarchy. It, it is not know? my it is not my project. It is Thank a project you. that I'm I'm participating in, and I'm just like okay. any other business entity that could come Thank you. and build on the backbone of the browser, even fork the browser and make it their own browser and let it resolve to their own website when you open it. And so you can build features of our browser into your applications because it's completely open source. And so it's very adaptable to many different situations, many different code, many different softwares. And uh, if somebody wants to, they could even fork it. That's right. They can fork it over and, and put up their own servers and try to decentralize their own uh, forked version. And this. have their and have their own uh, hashtag space. If they wanted to do that, they could do that too. They better have be working night and day because that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> And not only them, the whole team. Yeah, yeah. How, how huge is the uh, how huge is the team working on MetaGate? The theme working. Uh, the team. I'm not sure how many now, but the I knew is. they had like uh, a few, almost a hundred programmers and developers. Hundred programmers. That's wow. what at, at the point of the height of launching the net. Right now, I do believe there's only like 20 that were on a scaled down version. But the founders of this um, run ads now and ad sniper. And so they're all about pay-per-click and pay-per-click systems. Okay. And I'm about organic and SEO search engine optimization. So we're going to be bringing a lot of these different uh, platforms and, and ways to help business through uh, this browser. So uh, the browser is different in a way that most browsers just resolve where you want things to go uh, by typing things into them. Our browser actually offers services natively within the browser actually being a domain registrar where you can buy a domain name from the browser. Let okay. me let's go back and rephrase that. So just by joining hashtag.space, we have a downline link and automatically everyone is has an affiliate link. And so if you share that affiliate link, you get paid 25% of every sale that comes in on that link. So everybody is basically becoming a, a hashtag registrar with that link because not even GoDaddy or these other registrars make that kind of percentage after paying VeriSign and all the other fees to register domains. So 25% of a domain yearly is, uh, is a pretty good fee. And so again, the one reason why I decided that we were going to charge $24.95 and not let the person own the domain okay. is because that within about 100 years of people owning domain names and having them in their wallets and them dying, uh, a lot of these domain names would go out of the ecosystem. And I don't see that being a, a very long, long, very much longevity in that, domain name, in that domain name system. So. Um, we did it this way. We think that we're offering a lot uh, because hashtag domain names uh, do a lot more than just normal domain names. And the fact that uh, it's twenty four ninety five, it's not a lot of money. If you don't have twenty four ninety five to decentralize your business, you know, maybe you need to sign up for some free meta hash and start forging, and then you can afford some. Or maybe you should start pizza delivery. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And make some money. Make some money. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. amazing. We, uh, uh, it is amazing. Sometimes people are so. We have this. Uh, we have this uh, thing going on on Absalom. Uh -huh. They approved us, and a host Mary has got a deal for, uh, for for four dollars a year. You can try uh -huh. our cloud for a year. And there are wow. so many people and saying, "Oh no, that's way too expensive. Can I have additional discount or something like?" Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so 24, a, yeah, yeah, twenty four ninety four for a domain name. That's yeah. We have a lot of other uh, things that are projected and planned over the yes. next six months to a year that I, I really don't want to get into right now because it gets really deep. But yes. let's just say, let me just say one thing: that it would be really um, there's going to be a way that you'll be able to sell domain names on your top level domain. So, for example, if you bought hashtag money from my system, okay, in the, in the future you'll be able to unlock what we're calling meta hash names below that like subdomain so like meta hash so like hashtag money dot tips yes you would be able to sell hashtag money dot tips to someone else you're the domain owner hashtag money and you turn that into a, a top level domain name and start selling subdomains meta hash names below your domain name for 14.95 that's what those meta hash names cost are 14.95 and you and you earn 50 percent of that real money of every domain name sold so I can, I, that, can, can, yeah. can I resell? Can I resell the domain name? Absolutely. Can I, can, can Absolutely. I transfer it to somebody yeah. else? Yeah, I want to show you real quick. I'm just going to stop my yes. hands for one second, share the screen. You don't. Uh, you don't have to show, uh, stop the cam to share the screen. Okay. Cool. Robert. Let me go and turn yes. the cam back yeah. on. Okay. Okay. 
uh, at the theme. Yes. Go back over to the system. Really cool. And so if I go to the hashtag space and I log into my account, I go to my domains. It's really quick. I have hashtag space here. I'm just going to click resell and I'm going to type in uh, $1,000. So I'm going to click. Oh, send. you can even resell them, right? Spot yeah, on right, right there. Here. Yeah, right here. So go check. So um, hashtag, let me go check the domain. Boom, hashtag space. And you can so actually right there, make them publicly available. For, for, for $1,000. I just got to fund my account. Hashtag space takes 5% for the transfer, but buying and selling and reselling domains is very simple within our system. Wow. That's, that's super simple. Yep. And the affiliate, like I said, the affiliate yes. system is already working. So here I've already tracked a few different domain name sales, people that have come in and bought hashtag Cardano, hashtag Dogecoin were sold even okay. hashtag, uh, I believe uh, hashtag cute. A lot of hashtags been sold. The other day, hashtag ETH was sold for twenty four ninety five. I thought okay. I owned that one, but I didn't. <laughs> can, can, I, can I see the hashtags you own? Yeah. Uh, so I have um, domain names here. I have hashtag SEO, hashtag space, uh -huh. hashtag BWP, hashtag domains, hashtag shop, hashtag wow, and hashtag because fuck big tech and censorship. That's a good one. And hashtag <laughs> Georgia, which is on a, on a demo right now. So. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. 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 Okay. There's Fan a lot more. <laughs> uh, fantastic. And here is, here is a question. And here is a question from actually. So this guy, he's a famous crypto artist, the go famous global crypto artist. He does only crypto art. And he's from Austria, uh, Austria, Germany. God knows. Sometimes he's, he's in Russia. His last girlfriend was from Russia. And how, how does POS stay constant deal with rich becoming richer issue. Well, I mean, in every instance, you need money to make money, except for in this instance, if you don't have any money, you can come over to that link, hashtag.org, sign up for the browser and get a thousand MHC for free tonight and start with that. So it's not my fault if no one is economically well off, but this is the way the world works. So if somebody comes in to do proof of stake, in my opinion, proof of stake is a what much a much better platform because we're not hurting the environment where we don't have multi-million dollar you know coin farms that are just there to check a yes. ledger and open ledger when a, a, a lot different a better type of consensus platform could be done like proof of stake letting people put their money where their mouth is and say hey i'm not going to let this, this server be corrupted it's not about the rich becoming richer it's just about uh, making a better blockchain become faster simpler and easier to use with less fees and so um I don't really know about the rich becoming richer, but I do know that if you'd like to be rich, you should come over here and stake on MetaHash. Ding, so, ding. So when do you have when do you have to pay gas? Which uh, when you're using when you're paying you're sending money to the people. If it's less than twenty percent overload load on the system, you don't pay okay. fees for sending transactions. But okay. once the smart contracts and stuff are open and uh, people are and you're using hosting on the decentralized network and actually the traffic and all those type of things you'll need to pay for some 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 fees some because you know you don't get hosting and you know you as all people know you don't get hosting for free and so uh you have to pay something to be able to pay for your space even okay. cheese in the mousetrap is not free that's right even that's not free somebody paid for that cheese even the welfare cheese is not uh, free. And the end game, base, base. Okay, the mouse pay is the biggest price. And <laughs> so uh, you said uh, paid ads. Are those uh, are they called ad sniper? I can see that uh, Georgie is really well. And adsnow.com, I do believe. Ad sniper. Um, they have a lot of systems they've built in pay per click. Uh, I have a pay per placement thing that we're doing. We're not pay per click platform. Okay. We're paper placement. So all bids start at the placement at $1 and you can stay at that one top spot for the week. So if someone comes in and bids you out of that top spot, then you're out of the top spot for the week. And so you get is that, is that for a keyword or what? That's for a keyword phrase. Yep. So for remember when you buy a hashtag domain name, we give you five free keyword phrases and you automatically okay. show up for those in the internet. So uh, for example, I'm going to share my screen again. Boom. And we're going to take a look at this right here for okay, example uh, georgie wants georgia 
<laughs> of I'm course he does. The word SEO. I'm typing in the word yes. SEO. SEO hashtag, and I click enter, and that's going to go to our search engine and automatically pull up whoever has the words either SEO in their hashtag or select it as a free word that they've chosen to show okay. up for. So this is already working. We're just going to be pulling this over, and okay. just so you have an idea. Can, can I can that. I can I can I see a few other keywords, please? Yeah. So let me uh, type in uh, Crypto cryptocurrency, Georgia. Okay, Georgia. Like, okay. Georgia is Georgia's going to show up even though I didn't enter the keyword. The keyword shows up in the name, so it's automatically going to show up. And, and so is this I, is this the only uh, is this the only uh, result that came up on yep, search that's engine? The result because what, you know remember we're new. We've only sold about 150 domain names so far, so things are really starting to take off and and oh. uh, so there are all kinds of domain names that are open and available. So in the in the in the search engine, yep. the only results displayed will be domains uh, that are bought from uh, at at your system. Yep. Um, um, do I, do I understand it correctly? It, so it this is, is not, not as be only those domain names, but they will have a, a place there. Okay, they'll have they'll have a place there. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to type in the word helmets. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to hit enter. And so now this keyword for Georgia, so if I type in Georgia, it's going to take me to Georgia. But if I also type in the word helmets, takes a few seconds. Okay. Georgia. Yeah, I don't know how fast it's actually updating tonight because it took me a little longer than normal okay. <laughs> to do the other one. So. Like, let me do one for like internet marketing. Okay. Internet marketing. And sometimes I have a hard time with my my thing being slow down here. Uh, well, uh, uh, and and Robert, okay. it is not, it is not only your side during the live stream, during the yeah. live stream. Yeah. So uh, I just typed in like yes. search engine optimization instead of SEO. And I have these already here. I don't. So, I don't so can, can, can we type in? Uh, can we type in Bitcoin? Yep. Let us see who is there. Probably no one. <laughs> but well, here's a couple of dApps. So we have Bitpanda. We have a delegate for hashtag space at MetaHash. This is um, our, our our group at MetaHash uh, at hashtag space delegation. Hmm, Bitcoin. What does this delegation forging? I want to see this one. Doesn't go over there. It doesn't all oh, that doesn't resolve from here yet. The app. This is an actual server, so the servers don't actually resolve yes. here yet. So, uh, are, but, are you saying that hashtag Bitcoin is still available? Uh, no, it's not, but it could be for sale. I do have it as an admin. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the truth comes out a little bit. I do own a couple of on reserve in the admin section, and okay. so, <laughs> so. But again, like I said, the 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 search engine is already working, but this is what will be tr making the search engine look like. Okay, so you'll have hashtag space. You'll have the search okay. engine. Go ahead. And then I'll go, uh, go on, go on. I'm watching. Yes. The these are the actual ads being paid for within our system, and then what we're going to be doing is displaying hashtag domain names for sale. So if you go in and say, for example, search for Cabin Rentals Georgia, then we'd be selling hashtag Cabin Rental Georgia. Hashtag cabin underscore rental underscore Georgia hashtag dash, you know, so all of the different variables we'd be selling right over here on the right. So you get some ads and then you would get these results from DuckDuckGo. And then these free keywords that I told you you'd be showing up in the search engine for would be here on the right. And that's what these things would be showing up for. So you do show up for uh, alongside the results of a normal search engine at DuckDuckGo just from buying hashtag domain name and putting in your free keywords. You show up here. And then if you're paying for ads, you show up here. And if you want to buy a domain, I figured that when someone's in a search engine doing a search, it's usually because they're interested in that topic. And if they're interested in that topic, they might be interested in buying a hashtag domain name on that topic as well. And so yes. this is something different that no one's offering, but that's what we have. Um, I go over to our, our, our hashtag space social platform, which you can see here. Uh, I've got it in light mode right now. I'm going to, I'll pull it down and turn it into dark mode. Uh, one second. 
this I got a different white, a light, and dark mode for whoever wants to put it on. Okay. Uh, it does take a second. This stream on, boy, it's really taking a lot of a lot of data. Okay. So there we are. Let me just go in. I'm gonna just turn it to the night mode. Okay. Broom, we're on night mode. Uh, we got a little uh, little astronaut man here. We got a little rocket. We've got a little uh, UFO coming down. And we've got uh, people joining, and I'm following them right now. Boom, 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 boom. Seeing all these people here. You join in anonymously. You can add a GIF or an image if you wish. And then you just follow who you want to follow. But we have a lot of information here about the MetaHash platform and uh, things that are going on within the community. Um, we have an our SEO. We have our own SEO platform over here. So if you click here, it take you over to our hashtag space marketing where you can sign up for the free five keywords. You can get um, packages a lot cheaper than the normally what I sell them for to normal people. So just by being on the webinar here, you're getting this at wholesale pricing here. And so that's really cool. Um, we have a directory that's coming at hashtag.org. So not only will that be the multi-level marketing and a place to sign up and a get directory. Up. That's awesome. That's, that's great. Yeah. We have the hashtag.org directory. So it was a high price domain name. So, and this is interconnected to our hashtag space social. So if you want to click on the balance, it'll automatically log in over at the other site and then you can check your balance and then click on social just to go back to the website. And so we're building an interconnected ecosystem here. You'll have a decentralized search like I showed you here shortly with the mm -hmm. social, uh, you'll have decentralized email, a decentralized YouTube type platform and a few other things we're building here for people. So it, it just takes time, you know, to build these types of things but we're, we're on top of it. So we're expected in the next six months to a year to have our full ecosystem uh, deployed. Okay. Uh, do you track your users on the browser? I, I don't track the users. No, no. I got to see where you are. You guys are at. I keep trying to find out where you guys are at and where I'm at. Okay. You're right here. Okay. Okay. Here we, here we go. Yes. Stop sharing. Yeah. Okay. And we can see that Ivan is saying people earn free MHC. Yes. That's correct. Wow. Just by joining, not only just by by uh, you get thirty to forty percent back. Whatever you so if you're you're forging a thousand, you're going to get thirty to forty percent of that back within that year. And so um, you know, and not only that, just by joining the platform, we're giving you a thousand MHC, one thousand. You know, um, at one point in time, eleven years ago, Bitcoin was about seven cents. You know, and so um, today, you know, MetaHash is about a half a penny. And so uh, I would jump on board. That's what I got to say, <laughs> because I'm bringing some things to the platform, not only what I'm bringing, but what other people are going to be able to bring in the future after they see what this platform can do. This platform is going to be inherently worth a lot of cash. And, and it's like I said, you're investing in the new Internet. You're invest. You're 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 laying the foundation and being a part of the new Internet, which means you can earn money off of the people paying for advertisements just inviting people to come and hang out in the social space to, you know, to search for search you know, whatever they're searching for to find things. I mean, there are so many ways and that's going to be listed more at hashtag.org in the future where you're going to have a list of things of how to passively earn MHC and how to actually make real, real money uh, uh, through our system. Okay. I'm just checking quickly the questions. Okay. Um, here's a question like this. Stream yeah. live okay. social platform. So because uh, that we're not farming people's information, it's really hard for us to to offer those types of streams because somebody has to pay for those. And so we have a pro a pro platform for influencers and people like that want to have a decentralized streaming platform where they can pay. So there will be a small fee for paying for the pro uh, section, which will allow you to go live to stream and to have all those functionalities plus a few other things. And that is coming. Yep. It's already there, but I don't have it hooked up to where you can actually pay for it yet. So how many servers does it have? Um, this again will be on the backbone of MetaHash, which you saw all those servers, 200 and some servers. So all the pieces of this program will be divided. Stre streaming. Yeah. Well, that's what this, this is a decentralized cloud. Basically, MetaHash is a server cloud that decentralizes websites and databases and serves them up when needed. Okay. No, that's, this, is, this is super interesting. Yep. Hey, uh, I'm approaching Russians. Hey, Russians, I, uh, 
Ребята, давайте придите к нам на лайвы и расскажите про все свои мастер про все уровни, чтобы понятно было, что, где и когда. Технично. Yeah. Uh, so I'm approaching Russian team. So, hey guys, uh, this is public invitation. Please come in. Who is the, the technical one? And please explain on the four, all, all four levels of nodes. How do you do them? How do you get that? How, yeah. is, that, how is that possible? Yeah. How, do you, how, do you, how do you plan to run all that data? Okay, just, so that's unimaginable. Uh, Yeah, going over yes. to the MetaHash website, it's all written down and broken down of how to become a node master, how to open your own node, how to forge down, how to get uh, your, your MetaGate uh, wallet open, how to forge down from your wallet. So all of the instructions and everything and, and all of the services that we offer are listed on the website. You just have to dig a little bit to get in there, but they are there so you can find it. It would be, yeah. Wow. And it, it is, Robert, it is amazing when people start working into one direction and the amount of ideas and yeah, yeah. I would really love to hear also the technical side, just to understand yeah. the approaches, the philosophy and all the coins are different. All the coins are different. Yeah, different I, coins have different protocols. They do different things. Yes. Some of them don't do anything, but some of them do a lot of yep. things. So. And there are different approaches and then there are ecosystems like yours. Yeah. That are coming up new and every every day things are popping up so it's just a it's an exciting time for the, the new internet when the, the internet has birthed and what's coming in the future it's really exciting times and it pushes and it pushes on so yep. what uh can i can i ask you a question so what yep. uh happened here uh so here is here is metahash yes let us yep. see refresh uh so the price is 0.5 uh so half a cent And one month, seven days, no, one month. What happened here? Yeah, it looked like there was some type of uh, big investment that came into MetaHash. It looks it, like, like pump and dump. It looked like some type of pump and dump, but I don't know exactly what happened. But all I know is I didn't sell my MHC. I held on and I, I just left it forging because, you know, I'm, I'm in for the long run. I have a lot of MHC and I know that staking, it's going to give me that 30 to 40% over the long haul each year. And so there's no real reason. It's like set it and forget it and just make yourself rich, you know, especially if you have a little bit of money to invest. Okay. Uh, quick question and then another one. So uh, let's say, uh, do, do I need, uh, do I need those 10 million, uh, 10 million coins to run a node? Or as there are smaller nodes, can I buy, let us say MH, uh, what was uh, MHC for, let us say 100 bucks. I yeah, buy you, 100 bucks. I would put up VPS on. Yeah, I can. I can put up VPS like this. Yeah, different nodes take a different and, amount of MHC to to stake down on them to operate them. So the core node is the highest at 10 million, but I knew that there's some down there as low as 100,000, 100 or 500,000 MHC. So there's a lot of ones that are a lot cheaper to run, but they don't pay as much uh, back. You know what I mean? So, uh, oh, you know, so you, the richer you are, the richer you become. Well, the, the cool thing about this thing is it's not about... But that's fine. That's fine. Listen, listen it's not about yeah. you just staking your money on your node. You can open up a node and put a 10% of... The, you can put the 1 million on a core node and nine other people could put nine other million on that node and make the 10 million. So it's not just your money. It's everybody's money combined staking on your node in order to get it to work. So it's not make the rich richer. That's not the way it works. If you want to open a node to be your only staker on the node and put all your money there, you can do that. But people still have the opportunity to go to those okay. nodes that I just showed you and they can stake their money on your node as well. And you can't stop it. So. Okay. So people yep. can stake even thousand MHCs? Whatever. Yeah. Millions. I have millions. So they stake millions. Yep. Okay. Uh, Sundays is saying uh, you should add your project on ICO drop. Okay, I will do that. I didn't know about that, so I will definitely take it up and look at it. Thank you. Okay, is there anything else? There are lots of other things, my friend. I uh, I believe so. <laughs> I believe so. Today, today, my lunch is here staring at me, and my stomach is growling. And so I must bid you a fair do, awesome. a fair do well, and we will do this again soon because there is much more to cover for sure. That is fantastic. So, what should we cover next time? Um, I have uh, things like gambling.com, which is our new uh, esports platform. Absolutely. That... It is so impressive. The website is so beautiful. 
Yeah, really, it that, is uh, so. So whoever did that website, oh, deserves a well. I designed it, and then my graphic designer, we we did we designed it together, and then we, really? we cut it up and put it up. So that would happen. It is a... the design is so effective, so Thank beautiful. You. Really, Robert, it is so rare when you can go to the website and you immediately understand what it is. And what yeah, it is. it's so simple to understand that project. So let me go ahead and type this in the chat here. It is. Game, we'll be going live on this thing. It's in beta right now. We'll be going live on this thing probably by July or sometime. And then yes. there's a few other things I'd like to get into about um, hmm. uh, okay. my biggest platform, which is Blackwood Productions. And I'll type that here as well. That is... And go to it and check it out blackwood.productions and that's where we do all of our business now and, and search engine optimization and content marketing and that's where most of our money comes from so uh we can go over that there's i have one fella in uh in california earning over fifty thousand dollars a month just from referring me one seo agency in canada okay. in canada and so i would like to uh uh if anybody would like to know how to refer me agencies and earn 25% of everything they buy from me. Uh, you can hit me up, uh, kayakman21 on Skype, and, or we can do another little video uh, webinar and let's get deep into that. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Sounds so gambling, gambling.com. That's correct. Of course, gambling.com. Uh, uh, okay. okay, so it is in beta now. Yep, it's in beta now. Uh, yes, we do have a 1v1 is. and a 5v5 working. We have played games for real money, so you can go into a 1v1 server or a 5v5 server and select win by the team and also win per kill. So if it's a 10 cent room, you learn, you earn and lose 10 cents for every kill or okay. every time you get killed. Or if it's a dollar room, you're learn, losing a dollar. So, you know, really good. Okay. Uh, here's Maximus saying, uh, down this month because uh Kucha and exchange with all yeah the Kucoin did have a problem there with the, with the deposit and everything suspended okay. i'm not sure really what happened maybe it was some type of manipulation on their part but i'm not really sure what happened with this pump and dump okay so very very so so around the questions where can we buy metahash where is it metahash possible to buy? on cexio i do know that there is a place at cex.io and there's a couple others once you download the metagame browser as soon as you open it, it pops up and lets you know the different exchanges that they're on. So it's some good stuff. Okay. CCX.io. Uh, CCX, yeah, .io. Yes. Okay. How people can contact you? Um, I'm on Skype. Um, they can come to hashtag space.social and we have our social okay. network there. They can come there. I'm kayakman21 everywhere. Okay. So you can contact me there on my social network. Okay. You can contact me on Skype. At Kayakman21. You can contact me on Instagram at Kayakman21. You can contact me on Facebook at Kayakman21. And oh. you, can, you can just call me on the phone at Kayakman21 and I'll answer. <laughs> Pick up the phone and say Kayakman21. That's it. That's it. I answer to that. <laughs> Have you got your hashtag Kayakman21? I actually do. That was my free hashtag that I got. Remember, in the profile section of hashtag.space, yes. you just got to type in your name there and you got a free hashtag that resolves in the browser to your to your profile. So really good stuff fantastic and then the last thing yeah. the very very last thing okay to all the to all the beautiful people that are watching what would you say based on your experience about the life or maybe thoughts that you have about the life right now not tech just okay um Thank let me just say that um time is your most precious precious asset and working for someone um, you're spending your most precious, precious asset trading your time for money. And so I would say work harder, work smarter, not harder. And that would be working with your head and not your hands. If somebody wants to get ahead in this life, you have to learn how to multi multiply your revenue streams by something that other than what your hands can do. And so if you can do that and make money while you sleep, then you'll rest while you sleep at night a lot easier. So that's what I'm going to say. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. How about this? We'll do this soon. We'll do this soon and again. Of course. Of course we will. And super impressive to all the team, uh, all the teams. I understand that you have actually many teams of, for all the projects. Yeah. Super impressive what you what you have achieved. It is super impressive. And from my side, please do not listen 
to the to the commentaries, especially from the people who haven't achieved anything in this life. Okay. You have you are doing an amazing job, and the things you are your your aims, your mission is mental, mental, and that is super impressive. Crazy yeah. people are always yeah. crazy. like Good crazy, time. crazy in, in high, high sky, high dreams. No, I take That's it impressive. In the and well, you, you guys actually do push the technology as as, as well as yeah. as all all the pioneers in all Some the very spaces. kind words. So we, we appreciate all, all the respect to you guys. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks for Bye. joining in. Bye-bye.